guys, I'm going to switch it up a little bit here. I'm going to go with a quarterback here as my first. My player is the quarterback, nine off the board, 79th player. So you're going to be in the mid seventh of your drafts. He's 24 spots after Trevor Lawrence in ADP. And this is no knock on Trevor Lawrence. I love him. I just don't think that that gap should be that huge, despite finishing on two solid fantasy outings. This player is going to be Deshaun Watson. He struggled in his last six games in 2022, of course, but performing well below his career averages, completion percentage, touch and rate, interception rate. I don't think it's as bad as it seemed. They had Cleveland had no clarity on Watson's suspension and they had playoff aspirations. They built this offense around Jacoby Brissett, which I think shined very clear when Deshaun Watson was almost two yards below uh, his average yards per pass attempt last year around. He was at like six where for his he's normally over eight. So I think that's pretty indicative of what they were running, and it wasn't necessarily built around Deshaun Watson because of that lack of clarity we had in the offseason. Let's not forget, Deshaun Watson is just 27 years old. He's playing with potentially his best offensive line, his most well-rounded supporting cast, and historically, he has elite accuracy. He's averaged almost 68% completion percentage on his career. Deshaun had six rushes per game in the six games he played last year, which would have paced for the second highest in his career. Even if that dials back just a little bit, in this upcoming season, he'd be right in line with his career averages, which paces for 90 to 100 rushing attempts per season. Manners act like quarterback five is out of his range of outcomes. But to me, quarterback nine, where he's being drafted, is actually his floor. In Watson's last three full seasons, he was the quarterback five, quarterback five, and you guess it, quarterback five. Five quarterbacks had greater than 85 rushing attempts last season, and five, all five of those, they finished quarterback one, quarterback three, quarterback five, quarterback six, and quarterback nine in points per game. The AFC North may end up being the shootout division in football. So do not be surprised if the Cleveland team paces over 65 plays per game and Watson ends ends up as a set and forget quarterback one. Um, I'm, I'm all in. I'm all on board. The fade that people think he's within a, a tier of the third tier guys, you know, as quarterback twos, I think is it's way overblown. Let's not forget how talented this guy has been in the past. Yeah, I think the Jacoby Brissett offense really hampered him, and it was very, very clear to, I think, anybody who watched all year, that offense was entirely built to make Jacoby Brissett look like a decent quarterback. And I we know Deshaun Watson is a superior talent to Jacoby Brissett. There's not a person on earth who can argue that. And take away all of his off-field issues, and yes, that's what caused him to essentially miss two full years of football, but this is a guy just with a ton of talent and he uses his legs and that's exactly what we want in a quarterback. So I, I agree with you. I think his price is too low. Um, I, I have him right in that range, but it's, it's when you look at the overall pick that I'm like, okay, I would take him well before that. Yeah. I think core eight, nine is fine. It's just 20, you know, all the so far past Trevor Lawrence ago saying, I don't think there should be any gap between the two. I don't think that they're yeah. significantly different in drafts. That's just me personally, but they are not drafted as so there's a huge tier gap after Trevor Lawrence in ADP. And I just don't feel it should be like that. We saw with a quarterback, like Justin Fields as a rookie, the offense was built for Andy Dalton and he comes in and people are like, he looks terrible. It's not built for him or, you know, he doesn't look good in this office. Like, yeah, the office was not built for him. And I think that's part of what we ran into with Deshaun Watson. Hmm. Also two years of rust. Like that shouldn't yeah. be controversial that he didn't look um perfect coming back after two years and not playing professional football so that's where i'm at on deshaun watson 